So a little while back, I was sent some bottles by Dr. Stoners to try out. I got their bourbon barrel aged tequila, their vodka, and then I got their smoky herb whiskey, which I'm going to try out today and then try making a cocktail with it. They also have a light tequila and a rum as well. So the Dr. Stoner Smoky Herb Flavored Whiskey comes in at 42% ABV, so it's 84 proof. I did do a little research on it. It did receive a highest rating of, I believe, 91 points from the Cigar and Spirits magazine for light flavored whiskeys. Um, it is made with 23 fresh herbs, four of which are charred to kind of give it a smoky flavor. It's aged four years in charred virgin white oak barrels and surprising to me it's categorized the same as jameson in the same category as jameson whiskey so let's go ahead and try this out smells really good you get the herb kind of a grassy herb smell you get the smoke you get the whiskey coming through it's a real real nice clean smell to it That's nice. You kind of get the, the grassiness taste is real light in there. You get like co coffee coming through pretty good. Um, caramel, chocolate. That's actually really good. That's something you could just sip on. But let's go ahead and try to make a cocktail with it. So this is a drink I actually got off the Dr. Stone's website. It's called the Winchester. And we're gonna start with two ounces of our Smoky Herb Dr. Stoner's flavored whiskey into our shaker with ice. One ounce of Dr. McGillicuddy's apple pie liqueur. The juice from half a lemon. And we're going to give that a shake. Strain into our glass. Top with some club soda. Throw a straw in it. And garnish with a lemon wheel. And there you have the Winchester. Cheers. Well, goddamn. Definitely worth a try. Check that one out. Cheers. So in closing, I honestly didn't have high hopes. A lot of times when something's herbal infused, it just is like too overbearing. It becomes like a cheap gin or something. Um, but this, it just, all the flavors really work well together. Like I said earlier, something I could sip on. I'm definitely going to try this, throw a big ice cube in there and try sipping on it with some ice because I have a feeling that's going to be even better. But... I really enjoyed it, so I do recommend it. Stay tuned for the other, the vodka and the tequila. Those videos will be coming soon. Cheers.